Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you quickly. Not a long time, because a lot of times when you talk for a long time, you can have a lot of good things to say, but the longer you talk, the more stuff leaks out. <laughs> it's like goes in here and goes out here. And sometimes you can talk people to death. Yeah. You talk in because you know people are dead in the audience. You're like, what happened? And you're going away in handcuffs. Why? Because you killed them. You talk them to death. So I'm gonna give you something in a capsule, a really small capsule. That big drop it in your spirit opens up. And it's about fear. Right? F-E-A-R. False evidence appearing real. Let me tell you what fear does, people. Fear will keep you on the other side of your dream. Looking in, right? Fear will have you a spectator in your own game. It's your game, but you're in the stands watching. Fear will make you 88 years old, on the porch, rocking in a chair, kids all around you, no teeth in your mouth, talking about what you could have, should have, but never did. <sighs> fear is one of those things that paralyze you while the shackle is on your ankle. In the Bible, it says fear not over 360 times. What am I getting at here, guys? Fear is just something you create. Fear is your own prison you create for you to live in. There's nothing you can't do with confidence with drive, with determination, with desire. You can do anything you put your mind to, right? Impossible just means I'm possible. You're possible. This is not like some kumbaya, rah, rah, or on the campfire with some s'mores. No, this is the reality. Everything that's ever been done that's great started with a thought. Everything, from the car that you're driving in, the airplanes you see, everything from clothes to shoes, Everything you can think of that's been created start with a thought. And from that thought, somebody took action, right? That doesn't mean they didn't fail. That doesn't mean it wasn't hard. That just means that they had a thought and they put action to it and it actualized. It manifested, right? Thomas Edison failed 1,000 times before the light bulb became a real light bulb. And when they asked him, he said, how did you feel about failing a thousand times? He said, no, I didn't fail a thousand times. It just took a thousand times to get it right, but he never stopped, right? He never stopped. So what I'm telling you is this, you may fail, fail forward. Something may get in your way, that's okay. Go around it, go over it. Continue to learn, continue to build. You, you, may, you may fall down, get up, you know? It, it's okay. As long as you can do this, that means you have another opportunity. Every breath, there's another opportunity to get it right. So remember, the future is what you do today. Another thing to remember is, guess what? Listen, watch this one out. Tomorrow is not promised. Yesterday is gone. Today is your present. It's a gift. Open it up. See what happens.